let me discuss the another group of antihypertensives that is vasodilators that is vasodilators now we have discussed until now diuretics which are used in hypertension and second group of drugs that is sympathoclegics and this is the third group of drugs that is vasodilators now if you take this particular vasodilators these vasodilators they can be either right these can be either arteriolar vasodilators right arteriolar vasodilators or these can be venodilators or another group of drugs that is arteriolar plus venodilators plus venodilators so these are all the ways we can achieve vasodilatation and can reduce the blood pressure of the individual now in what all ways we will achieve this particular vasodilatation the drugs will cause vasodilatation by causing opening of potassium channels by causing opening of the potassium channels the drugs will cause vasodilatation by causing the release of nitric oxide and the drugs will cause vasodilatation by blocking the calcium channels right by blocking the calcium channels next the drugs will cause vasodilatation by acting as agonist of dopamine receptors by acting as agonist of dopamine receptors so these are all the various ways by which the vasodilatation can occur now vasodilatation can be either it is arteriolar dilators venodilators or arteriolar plus venodilators now you take the arteriolar dilators the drugs which will cause pure arteriolar dilatation they include hydralazine minoxidil calcium channel blockers disoxide and as well as phenoldopon these are arteriolar vasodilators whereas you take venodilators venodilators they are mainly nitrates venodilators they are mainly nitrates and we have a group of drugs which will cause both arteriolar and as well as venodilators they include sodium nitroprusside ac inhibitors angiotensin receptor blockers and as well as the alpha blockers these drugs they will cause both arteriolar plus venodilators and remember all vasodilators they can lead to reflex tachycardia right so the important adverse effects of this particular all these vasodilators is they will cause reflex tachycardia now what do you mean by this particular reflex tachycardia what are these vasodilators doing vasodilators they are decreasing the blood pressure of the individual right they are decreasing the blood pressure of the individual once these vasodilators are decreasing the blood pressure of the individual now what our heart will try to do is our heart will try to increase the blood pressure by increasing the heart rate that is called the reflex tachycardia so all vasodilators can lead to reflex tachycardia due to vasodilatation 
and not only reflex tachycardia these vasodilators they will also cause sodium and fluid retention right they will also cause sodium and fluid retention due to compensatory mechanism and remember because they are causing sodium and fluid retention they are best utilized in combination with diuretics and beta blockers right they are best utilized in combination with diuretics and beta blockers okay so whenever you give beta blockers along with vasodilators that reflex tachycardia can be reduced whenever you give diuretics along with vasodilators sodium and fluid retention will be reduced all right next the major adverse effects of vasodilators is tachycardia and the other important adverse effect is headache the other important adverse effect is headache mainly with nitrates you will see this particular headache this is another important adverse effects and why is this headache due to this particular headache is due to dilatation of the cerebral blood vessels right this headache it is due to dilatation of cerebral blood vessels so these are your vasodilators so vasodilatory action either it might be due to opening of potassium channels or due to release of nitric oxide or due to blocking of the calcium channels or due to agonistic action of the dopamine receptors and these vasodilators they include arteriolar vasodilators venodilators and arteriolar plus venodilators and the important adverse effects of these particular drugs is reflex tachycardia and sodium and fluid retention so that is the reason why these drugs they should be given along with beta blockers or diuretics and the other important adverse effects with these vasodilators is headache and why is that due to that is due to dilatation of cerebral blood vessels